What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Doctor Disaster, and someone really needs to tell these Eastern developers to stop paying attention to all of the jackasses from the West who tell them that it's super important to gamers here in the West that they include all the weird ass pronoun progressive garbage. Wait, wait a minute, you, you gotta understand, man. I, I never even saw these assholes before! In an interview at the Tokyo Game Show this year, the makers of the original Dragon Quest said they were forced to add the weird pronoun and LGBT crap into Dragon Quest 3 because they were told that if they don't do it, then they can't possibly be expected to do business in the West, at least not profitable business. They, the developers in the East, are being led to believe that if they don't follow all this garbage doctrine, that people in the West will be furious. Basically, this is the modern audience tricking people from other cultures into believing that they are the dominant force in the culture. You know what? This, this is bullshit. This interview from the makers of the original Dragon Quest is extremely illuminating. You can tell that they absolutely do not agree with the crap they're being forced to add to their games, and at this point, I kind of feel bad for these developers, these visionaries who created such memorable work, only to see it being vandalized by these morons in the West. But, on the other hand, I simply cannot support the Dragon Quest 3 remake, no matter how much I still appreciate the devs who made it. These developers are being lied to, and the only way for them to get the truth is to not buy these games. They need to understand that pandering to the modern audience is fool's gold. It's a fake! It's real! <laughs> it's a fake! Don't you understand? It is real! No. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where I keep a list of woke and DEI infected games pinned to my account at all times for your reference. My handle on the platform is Dr. Disaster one But alright folks, you might remember that we have discussed the Dragon Quest 3 remake a time or two on this channel before. Specifically, we covered the fact that they are censoring the game. The female warrior character had skin covered up because the progressive activists can't stand the thought of a woman who shows any skin at all, despite the fact that this was an original Akira Toriyama piece of artwork. They thought they needed to censor it, helping to prove that these these wokesters are as prudish as the evangelicals who used to try to censor our video games 20 years ago or so. We also covered the fact that in Dragon Quest, they are no longer referring to the characters at the character select screen as male and female. Now it's body type 1 and body type 2. This is absolutely dehumanizing language. I cannot stand the way that these people take the life out of things. It's disgusting. But anyhow, let's watch this interview. It's in Japanese, so I apologize if you're just listening to the video. I recommend that you pause real quick here until you can actually read what's being said, but I think it's very important that we watch this rather than just read the transcript so that you can see their body language that goes along with what they're saying. <laughs> その<笑> 
いいのにだってフィクションだけどその中にあ主人公というあなたが入って冒険するっていうことでいいじゃないと思うんですけど違うんですかね。<笑>な,なんですかね。分かんないですけどねこれについてはね。<笑>ゲームだし、ねうん、フ,ィまあフィクションという自分の中のこうバーチャル体験での,あのノンフィクションだから楽しくければいいのにっていう。<笑>ねうんに思っちゃいますけどね。あんまり露出するとね、年齢が上がっちゃうっていうね。まあまあ、ね全年齢でなかったしまうっていうのがあったりとか。まあ、ルールがやっぱなんか各国違ったりするんでね。広くろうと思うと、一番厳しいところに合わせざるを得ないとか。でも、当時そんなこと思わなかったですけどね。<笑>コンプラっていうなのね、やっぱりね、ある種のね、あ、なんだろうな。絶対心というべき。善、うん、の名を借りて悪みたいなのがある。はいはい<笑>あの全員が不快感を覚えないなんてことはないわけ、うん、だってか不快なことを覚えるどうこうでもいいわけよ、うん、だって綺麗汚いとかさ善悪って人それぞれに感じ方があるわけじゃん、はいはい、で物事はやっぱり根っこにあるのはやっぱり絶対やっちゃいけないことだけいくつかってそれをさえやらなきゃあとはいいじゃないって、うん、そういうのがないわけよ、はいはい、だからやっぱりあのー欧米,英米の方から欧米の方から来てるその宗教的な概念から来る、うん、I gotta pause here and point out how completely correct this fella is to call this woke movement a religion the people who follow the woke train of thought the people who do that do it without question they act on complete faith that everything that their corporate masters tell them is correct In this case, the corporations are kind of like the priests or pastors of the religion, and the purple haired cat ladies who work in the HR departments at these businesses in the West, those are the zealots who whip everyone into shape, but we'll let them finish here. The Seikyo Tono Kangakata, the American Yarjana, 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 the やらななきゃいけないけ少年ジャンプの漫画だったら13アップ、うん、13歳以上じゃないと出せない、うん、私は全部リテイクでなきゃいけない、うん、でそれを訴訟が起きるそのために保険も入らなきゃいけない、うん、もうこんなねバカな国とね<笑>やるのは本当面倒くさい<笑>でそこから日本も悪影響を受けてやってるから、うん、主人公もね男女選べるんだけど、うん、男を女選ぶっていけないのね、うん、タイプ1タイプ2なのね<笑>ねえ<笑>これ男女って誰が一体文句言うんだろうと思うんだけどそうそうそうそう,そう,そう,そう、うん、分からないですねなんかあの「They are laughing at the morons in the West because we aren't a serious people any longer these jackanapes who work in the gaming industry now they live in these posh privileged lives where everything is comfortable and they never have to do any actual hard work and because they never have any real problems they blow stuff like this pronoun crap wildly out of proportion these people are a joke and they are making us look bad and yet they are telling these eastern developers that this what they believe is the dominant culture in the west they remind me of puffer fish You know, those tiny little fish who fill themselves with air so that they look much larger than they really are? That is what these woke lunatics are. They are puffer fish. Well, the only way to expose them as frauds is to not buy the games that are made like this. We have to show all of these developers, not just the ones in the East, but all the developers, all these studios, have to be shown that the modern audience that is being described to them. As the dominant culture that they need to chase after, they need to be shown that that modern audience is just a tiny fraction of gamers. But I'm gonna leave it there. Drop your mockery of these wokesters into the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.